Good morning. Let me just clean this camera off a little bit. I wanted to talk about a little something that brings me joy, and most of you will know this right now, but it's having fresh flowers in my flat. I love having fresh flowers around. It makes me feel alive. It's one of those like simple life pleasures, and I'm gonna tell you all about Freddie's flowers today, which is so cool. And if you live in London, you'll have seen the bikes riding around filled with Freddie's flowers, and whenever the Freddie's flowers guy comes to my building, I'm like, are these all for me? And he's like, have you ordered them? <laughs> I just got this amazing delivery from Freddy's Flowers and I love Freddy's Flowers and I'm gonna tell you a bit about them today and we're gonna unbox this, which I'm so excited about. This is how the box arrives. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna open this up. I just think it's so convenient to get flowers delivered in this way. And it tells you all about how to do it. And I also have one of their vases here. So I'm gonna put this all together, but it tells you like pour the water in, trim the flowers, and then they give you like a styling element, like how to style it. And then you open it up and it gives you like a step-by-step -step process of how to style it. And hopefully it should look something like this. And then you open this up. Like how cool is it to receive a box of flowers? So they look like this, really nice and compact. So this is the vase, it's the classic vase, and we are gonna arrange these flowers together. Before we get into it, I have a code for you all to try, and it is the best code ever! I love codes when it comes to flowers, baby. I'll write my code here and I'll put it in the description box as well. With my code, you'll get 50% off your first box and a free starter set, which is amazing. The starter set is a free classic vase, which is worth 25 pounds when you order your first box at 50% off. And with your second box that you get, you'll get a free cut down vase, which I'm gonna show you later on in this video. So you get another free vase, which is worth 20 pounds. And when your second arrangement arrives, you can cut down the stems from your first box and arrange them in your new cut down vase which will then free up your classic vase for your new arrangement so all in all it is a wonderful wonderful deal if you love fresh flowers as much as me it is literally like a breath of fresh air in my space when i have i mean i have tons of plants and everything but flowers are so special aren't they all right so first thing on the agenda when arranging flowers is to make myself a nice cup of herbal tea i'm drinking a ginger tea I just find the process of arranging the flowers so relaxing. It's like a type of meditation. So I'll pop my tea here for now, let it cool down. And I follow the guide to a tea because I don't want to mess this up. Use your Freddy's flower food and fresh room temperature water in a lovely clean vase. I'm gonna pop this in. Room temperature water. Freddy's Flowers is a really cool company. Actually, it was started by Freddie, who worked at his parents' flower shop here in Pimlico in London. I always love to support London-based brands. And Freddie basically thinks that flowers shouldn't be like a you know, special occasion thing only, it's like a part of daily life. And I totally agree. I mean, you don't have to get like crazy flowers all the time, but it just puts a pep in your step to have flowers, I think. So I actually have these because I have so many flowers and it says to trim them at an angle at about one inch and make sure that there's no like leaves in the water so I'm gonna just trim these anyway yeah I think it's really cool that he started the company himself and he was like hand delivering all the flowers I don't know I think it's nice when a founder is like hustling because they're so passionate about it I wonder if I have to trim this twig I'm just gonna do it anyway and now they're delivering to hundreds of thousands of homes across the UK. That's wild. And they're also shipping to the Netherlands and Germany. I love having some type of a flower subscription because it's like a surprise each week. And actually, I did that for my mom for Mother's Day one year. I got her a year-long flower subscription and she really loved it. I've had Freddy's flowers so many times and I'm gonna say they look like this now, but trust me, when they go in the water, they just really perk up. They're looking to look gorgeous and they stay fresh for a really long time because they're sourced straight from the grower, so you don't have like all that waiting time. And the good thing about this is if you're going away or something, you can pause your subscription so 
you can do that at any time they make it really easy when i'm not vlogging this i'm usually like listening to music this is part of my like cleaning routine it's like cleaning and getting my fresh flowers and the packaging as well is so sustainable, which I love about it, it's all recyclable. They really try to deliver things in a sustainable way as well. Freddy's Flowers is a carbon neutral business, which is awesome. And they only grow what they know they can sell, so they're not overgrowing and wasting things. And I know that when my flowers get delivered, they get delivered in an electric bike, so that's really cool. Anyway, let's get arranging these. So I've got my card and it tells you about each of the flowers and it gives you the steps. So start by creating a pistache foliage nest evenly around the edge of your vase. So I'm gonna do one here, one here. Where's that other one? Right here. I just love feeling like I know what I'm doing even though I obviously don't, I'm following instructions, but it just makes me feel good. Okay, so that's my nest. And I'm just gonna carry on and I'll let you know how it goes. And honestly, like, there's no right or wrong. I mean, they give you the guide, but you can kind of, like, wing it. And this is my final bouquet. It looks so wild and so beautiful. I'm gonna put it right on my dining room table. Anyway, I'm just chilling today. I am, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing, I'm doing laundry. That's what I'm actually doing. I'm doing laundry <laughs> and I'm trying to tidy up and just get my life together. And uh, what else am I gonna do? I have to like unpack my mail. I have to just, I'm having like a little me day. Good morning. It's been a few days since I last checked in. I feel like all I ever do is laundry. All I ever do is laundry and I don't even wear anything other than pajamas. Um, I'm gonna make some breakfast. It's a work from home day and then later on today, I'm getting my tattoos removed. So that sucks, but I'm happy because I'm getting it done. It's not my finest work, but it will do. I've realized you've probably not seen this little baby girl in a while. She's my everything. Yes, she is. We had a nice walk this morning. Yes, we did. We saw a squirrel. We saw another dog. Hello. Hi. Do you miss me? Yeah, do you miss me? <laughs> yeah. A tan. Yeah, I got a little bit of a tan. Um, so nice. Yeah. Um, how's the office life? What's popping over there? Holy moly. I just did the tattoo thing. I just find it too painful to vlog while I'm doing it. It's, it's so like all consuming, but it just takes like two seconds and then that's it. But I always feel like after I get my tattoos removed that, you know, you get a huge rush of adrenaline. So your body can like cope with it. Then afterwards you're like so tired <laughs> cause you're like, oh. But anyway, I'm glad it was done because I really, really, really want to get rid of these tattoos. Anyway, now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some food because I have no food at home. I need to get some chicken and some other things. I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier these days. So that's fun. I'm tired. Okay, so what did I get? I got some brown rice, some bananas, some chicken, spinach, and some salad. Lentils and vegetable stuff. Some wraps, some more salad, pasta sauce. Okay, with my lunch, I'm going to have a raspberry dash water. I love dash water. It's literally just like sparkling water with um, fruit infused with it. It's such a treat. Also, I have to wear these on my tattoos for two days. Oh gosh. <laughs> I will literally sit here and eat this entire salad by myself. Well, not by myself, but I will be the only one eating this. You will not be eating this. You'll be eating that snack. I'm not sure if this is a mistake, but I have decided to move to the bedroom uh, to edit, to work this evening. So um, 
I don't know, I just feel like my arms are a little sore. And I'm just editing a vlog. And my bed is just so much more comfortable. Good morning. Another day, this is my look. Carrying about a million and one things as per normal, I'm at my office. I haven't been here in a while and it's really sad to see my plant is dead. Oh my God, my fern. My fern. Look at it. Oh gosh. As if I have time for this. I've, I'm supposed to be working, but I can't just leave my plants dead like this. So I need to water them immediately. I gave it a thorough watering and I trimmed most of the dead leaves off of it. So let's see how it is in a couple of days. Oh dear. And I'm also just gonna have to tidy up this chaos. <gasps> Gosh, I love the office, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now that we don't have the right furniture in there and it's stressing me out. I think I need to get some more storage. I need to get another desk to put in the middle and that is what I need to do. So I think tonight I'm gonna order another Ikea table. But anyway, now I'm driving to Soho to have lunch with my friend Trishna and my friend Fran and it's gonna be really nice. So we're going to Paradise Soho. People are always like, you drive? to Soho. Parking is limited. I will give you that. But I have to go to Chelsea after, so it's just a lot more convenient and cost effective if I have my electric car, baby, because no congestion zone. <laughs> okay, this is not focusing. Okay, I'm here with the girls, Fran and Trishna, and we just had an amazing lunch, which I forgot. Paradise Soho. Paradise Soho. Paradise Soho. I, it was good. Yeah, it's right over there. And now we're all turning ways. Yeah. It was fun. It was really fun. Now I'm gonna go get a facial, and you're gonna go to Chanel, and you're gonna go meet your friends. Yeah. Right. Girls day. <laughs> Love this song. I stay as giddy, and I can't tell you I am why. giddy. I'm giddy because I got to pick up my favorite passenger. Amelia's here. <laughs> what is up is it was raining in Mayfair and I needed a taxi <laughs> and I have a stay on fine friends and I was like yo B <laughs> where are you going because I need a lift <laughs> and I was just coming out of a facial so it worked out and I just so happened to have your housewarming present in my car because I wanted to drop it off to you meant to be so excited to see what you think you are like the hardest person to buy for and I think I nailed it, but I actually, I don't I'm know. I'm so excited. I'm boxing car haul. I don't know if you're gonna like it, and if you don't, we can exchange it or whatever. God, I'm so nervous. How awkward is it giving gifts, and you're like, please? Because if you, you don't, it's so much, it's fine. But honestly, the receiving end is always like, amazing, you know? <laughs> <gasps> I've always wanted this! Are you just saying no! that? It's been in my basket for like a hundred years! For real, for real? And it's Yes, I thought it would match your bedroom. You like it? I couldn't think of what to get you. I can't believe you got this. <laughs> really? Because it's not something I'd ever buy for myself. That's what like, I thought. It's just too crazy for a jewelry bag. But this That's is what I thought. Stunning. I was like, you'll never get it for yourself. I would never get it for myself. Yeah. It's, but it, I keep putting it in my basket and then I'm like, come on, I'll just show you. What. It's just sexy. It is sexy. It? It's sexual. I'm glad you like it. it. Do you, you like the color? Because there's other Obvi blues. Obviously blue. Yeah, this but there's the other perfect, blues. This is the blue in my bedroom. That's what I thought. I was literally like zooming in on your headboard. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Thank you. You're I can't believe you got this for me. I know. It's like when I thought of it, I was like, that is actually not shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is not shit at all, actually. By the way, it's been a few days and I wanted to show you that my Freddy's flowers have fully bloomed. They're beautiful. Good morning. This camera looks like it's gonna fall. I'm driving to Chelsea. I'm going to meet my friend Dom for a breakfast and I actually fooled myself into thinking I had my life together today. There's something about blazers. Like they just make everyone look... Oh, hang on. My phone's ringing. Good morning. 
Good morning. I'm off to Sloan Square because I'm meeting up with my friend for breakfast and then I'm gonna rush back for a meeting Then I'm gonna grab my laptop and Effie and go to the office and meet Chloe and then we are going to work together and then I've got dinner tonight. So I've got my omelet with fine herbs and Dom has some spinach and a very white egg white omelet with fine herbs and look how pretty she looks today. This is like the hardest working person in the entire business that you're looking at right here. So we are here at the office, me and Chloe, she's back there. Um, we've just been working all day today and I completely forgot to vlog. Little Effie's at work today. She's like, okay, is it time to go home now? <laughs> so we're just actually packing everything up, but nothing that interesting happened. I did an Instagram live. I just like worked basically. And now I'm gonna go home and take Effie home. And then I'm going to a friend's house for dinner. They're making ramen. I wanted to show you all my outfit because I actually think I look kind of cool today. I've got on like a silky satin brown blazer, which is from Zara. I've got on a brown tank top with some jeans. They're from Arquette. And then my shoes are from Zara as well, which I think look pretty cool. Okay, so the chef has made all of this amazing ramen stuff. I guess this is like the base. And we have all these toppings. It's a mushroom ramen, and I'm very excited to try it. And over here you can see the love and care that's going into it. The eggs have been marinated. This yeah, ramen. In, we're so Do you want to explain it? So right now we have a vegan ramen, which is a shiitake mushroom broth with soy mushroom caps, roasted sweet potato and beech mushrooms with sesame aubergine and a fudgy nitamago egg. What? Which makes it not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone, another day, another dollar. I just feel like it's not Groundhog Day. <laughs> Still got my drying rack, haven't moved it, and I'm about to do an Instagram live. Might actually have to move this um, drying rack, hang on. Cause I need to look like a somewhat of a professional. But being a professional is basically just moving everything out of the background. And I'm actually vlogging right now, so I'm gonna just do like a little inception because this is this is for people watching my vlog they can see what chaos my desk is I always try to just say I'm like organized but I'm not so it's been a week since my original flowers were delivered they're still looking amazing I don't know how it's possible but it is and like I mentioned I was gonna be sent another vase this is the cut down vase so what we're gonna do is whoo, here it is we're going to cut down these flowers and put them in here and then I have another box of flowers that's fresh and they're gonna go in this vase. So you're just like always rotating flowers. So I'm gonna get my little scissors back and I'm going to cut these down. I'm gonna put some fresh water in here. And then the way I like to decide like how much to cut down is you just kind of place it along and then see like how you want it to sit. So I'm probably gonna cut about this much off. Oh, I've got my laundry going, cutting my flowers. Life is good. It really is the little things, isn't it? Oh my God, cute. So you're repurposing your flowers and you're giving them a second life. Love, these are so cute. Then I'm gonna put some new water in bigger classic vase. Okay, I'm actually really curious to see what kind of flowers I have this week. It's fun. Untie this string. Eucalyptus, my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh. How beautiful are these? Okay, let me get the card so I know what to expect. Okay, it looks like we're going purple and pink. My flower food in there. And then I'm gonna start with these blooms. Okay, oh my gosh. This is just so fun. Trim it. So I've got one. And I will say like these flowers, when they come out of the box, you think, oh, these are not gonna, <laughs> you know, but they do. They end up looking actually better as the days go by. And you get used to arranging them as well. And it becomes like, I don't know, you feel kind of confident about it. So 
Okay, according to this, I've got three yes. And then I'm gonna take the sea lavender. Okay. Okay, and that's it. So this is my new bunch. How pretty. As they like loosen up and expand, it's gonna look even better. Lovely. I love them. I love eucalyptus. So I have this one and then I still have this one. So I'm going to put this probably on my coffee table and then I'm gonna move this one on my dining table. I'm literally surrounded by flowers. Um, but once again, use my code. I'll put it here on the screen and it's in the description box. With my code, you get 50% off your first box and you get a free starter set, which is worth 45 pounds. Just to go through once again what a starter set is, with the starter set, you get a free classic vase, which is worth 25 pounds. It's this big one. And then with your second box of flowers, you'll be getting the cut down vase, which is great because you can repurpose your flowers from the week before. And the cut down vase is worth 20 pounds. So you're getting a great deal and you're getting a lot of flowers and they're beautiful. Now I need a snack after that. So my favorite snack right now is apple. I love this. I just like to do this, it's no drama. And then I also like to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. I don't know if I have almond butter or peanut butter, but one of the two. And this is literally how I eat it. I just have it on a cutting board because I'm a bachelor. <laughs> you don't think it's gonna hit the spot, but it hits the spot every single time. <laughs> 